Let's go ahead and do some example problems from page B55, definition decoder. We're not going to have definitions, we're going to have definitions. Uh, so let's go ahead and we'll do our first problem, problem number one. We have 9.52 divided by 4. This one's already nicely written for us in long division form, so we don't have to do that step. But we are going to do step number two, which is bring our decimal point straight up. We're going to be nice and neat. We're having to write kind of small, so we'll be careful. All right, how many times does 4 go into 9? It goes in two times. 2 times 4 is 8. Bring down the 5. How many times does 4 go into 15? Well, it goes in three times, and that's going to go straight up. 3 times 4 is 12. Subtract, we get 3. Let's bring down the 2. Now we're in our hundreds place. How many times does 4 go into 32? It goes in 8 times, so it goes straight up the elevator. 8 times, 8 times 4 is 32 subtract and we should get a remainder of zero. All of the problems on this page, you'll end up with a remainder of zero. That won't always happen, but for this page it will. So we have 2.38. And on our problem here, we have to look for 2.38. It might appear, oh, here it is. It might appear in more than one spot or it might not. I don't think it appears in more than one spot in this one. All right, let's gonna go ahead and do problem Y. 16.812 divided by three. It's already written for us in our right way. So we'll go into step number two, bring our decimal point straight up. And let's divide. Three into one, nope. Three into 16, yep, five times. Five groups of three is 15. Get one, bring down the eight. Okay, now how many times does 3 go into 18? It goes in 6 times, but that's 6 straight up here because we're talking about our tenths place. 3 groups of 18, or 3 groups of 3 is 18, and we get a 0, which is fine. Bring down your 1. Ooh, now careful. How many times does 3 go into 1? It goes in 0 times. We need to write that down. I have 0 hundredths. All right, zero times three is zero. You don't have to write that step down, but you can if you want to. Let's bring down our last one, our two. Now I have 12. How many times does three go into 12? Four times. Four times three is 12. We have a remainder of zero. So our answer is 5.604. Uh, students will sometimes miss that zero placeholder and say 5.64. That is not correct. So let's look up here and see where we find 5.604 is right here. I think that's the only Y. Let's go down and do these couple problems down here. Let's do problem Z. 25.56 divided by 6. Ooh, I don't have a lot of room here. So I am going to rewrite that problem on a separate piece of paper so that I do not get confused. So I'm going to label it problem Z, 25.56 divided by 6. Okay, here we go. We rewrote it. Let's bring your decimal point straight up. How many times does 6 go into 2? Nope. 6 into 25? Aha! 4 times. 4 times 6 is 24. Bring down our 5. How many times does 6 go into 15? Mm, two times. Bring that straight up. So now we're dealing with our tenths value. 2 times 6 is 12. Bring down your 6. How many times does 6 go into 36? 6 times. Bring that straight up. 6 times 6 is 36. Remainder of 0. Our answer is 4.26. All right, 4.26 here. And let's see, where do we find 4.26? Here's my Z. I think that's it for that one. Last problem that we will do together. R, problem number R. 
Uh, ooh, this one looks slightly different, but we just have to remember that a fraction is a division problem. It's just another way of doing a division problem. And in fact, as we get further on in math, as the years progress, most of our division problems are going to be rewritten or written as fraction form. So I'm going to go back to my paper. And I'm going to write problem R because I don't have a lot of room over here. Let's see. When I rewrite this, my numerator goes underneath. So that's 0 0.1332 goes underneath. And my denominator goes on the outside. It's what I'm dividing by. 0 0.1332 divided by 2. Now that we have it written down, I'm going to go ahead and bring our decimal point up. And notice, basically I'm taking a pretty small number and dividing it by 2 or halving it. I'm going to get even a smaller number. Okay, 2 goes into 0. Well, 0 times. 2 goes into 1. Uh, 2 doesn't go into 1. It goes in 0 times. So my first number is going to be a 0. I have 0 tenths. I keep going. How many times does 0 go, or 2 go into 13? Ooh, well, it goes in 6 times. So that 6 goes right above the 3. 6 times 2 is 12. Subtract, bring down the 3. We have another 13. How many times is 2 going to 13? Um, still 6. 6 times 2 is still 12. Bring down the 12. How many times is 2 going to 12? Another 6. Lots of 6s. 6 times 2 is 12. Here's our remainder of 0. And our answer is 0 0.0666. Well, that's kind of an interesting one. I'm going to write it here, 0 0.0666. And let's find where R goes. Here's an R. Here's an R. R. And I think that's it for R's. Well, there we go. We did some practice on how to divide number, a decimal by a whole number. You go ahead and finish the page.